And welcome back. An arrest is made in the murder of an Army veteran in California. One America's Bobby Dupree has more on the charges against that suspect. The arrest of a convicted sex offender in California leads to the rescue of an alleged kidnapping victim. Officers found 27-year-old Antonio Silva at his Santa Ana home earlier this week. He's accused of killing a U.S. Army veteran whose body was found back in October. When officers stormed that home, they were shocked by what they discovered. During the service of the search warrant, we also rescued a victim who had been held hostage at that location and a kidnap for ransom. Inside the home, police also found several guns and more than four pounds of fentanyl, which, according to the D if pure could kill as many as 1 million people. Officials say the alleged kidnapping victim had been held captive for days. Uh, he was a hostage at the location who was rescued by the SWAT team who made entry. We cannot discuss injuries other than the fact that he did go to the hospital, was treated and released the next morning. Police say Silva, who's also a convicted sex offender, resisted arrest, but was eventually detained with the use of a, quote, less lethal device. The raid was initiated after detectives identified him as a suspect in the death of 34-year-old Adrian Darren Bonar. His body was found in Anaheim last month, wrapped in a tarp inside the trunk of a car. The vehicle had been left deserted for several days. The manner of his death is still unknown to the public. Authorities still have yet to reveal how they zeroed in on Silva or how he was tied to the homicide. We're still exploring what the relationships may have been with all the involved parties. After his body was discovered, Bonar's family said they had no idea who would want to kill him. He grew up in San Diego, graduating from the Army and Navy Academy in Carlsbad. Years later, he was honorably discharged after serving in the Army during the Iraq War. Family members say he had PTSD and was staying at different motels in Southern California. But Bonar recently moved back to his hometown to be with his family and two young kids. You know, it's still hard for me to believe. Um, and, you know, this is something we never could have imagined or prepared for. The family has since established the Adrian Bonar Foundation with the goal of helping veterans suffering from PTSD and drug abuse. Meanwhile, Silva was booked on suspicion of homicide, kidnapping, and narcotics and firearms possession. He's currently being held without bail as the investigation continues. Bobby Dupree, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.